Welcome to Technical RPA. This video will refresh up with experienced interviews. In UiPath Studio, which recorder is suitable for virtual environment automation? Citrix Recorder. How can we identify a column in a database in UiPath Studio? We can identify a column by using a column index, using a column name. Which activities can be used to iterate through an array in UiPath Studio? Following are the activities that can be used to iterate through an array in UiPath Studio. For each activity. While activity. If we scrape some text and we know it contains only digits, how can we make the scrape better? By using Google OCR with numbers option only. Is it possible to click a button using the click image activity if it's not visible to the human eye? No, this is only possible with selectors. How can you get a value from an application, if it changes for each transaction? This could be done by finding a static element and then use scrape relative functionality to extract the value. What does the accuracy property represent in the click image activity? It is a unit of measurement from 0 to 1 which expresses the minimum similarity between the image you are searching for and the one to be found. In UiPath Studio, how elements are recognized on screen? They can be recognized through the attributes of UI elements. What does publishing mean in UiPath Automation Studio? Publishing of the automation package indicates archiving it and the related files present in particular folder for sending it to robots and then executing it. When you will be connected to the orchestrator then the project will go to the orchestrator field and then it will be displayed on packages page. And from this place, you can easily distribute them to the other robots after you assign some packages to the environment. Otherwise, it will get stored locally in the studio feed. RPA UiPath Interview Questions Questions related to UiPath activities What is a single block activity in UiPath? Single block activity is the smallest type of project which is mainly called as sequence. They are suitable for linear processes as they enable you to go from one activity to another seamlessly, and act as a single block activity. They can be reused time and again, as a standalone automation or as part of a state machine or flowchart. What are control flow activities in UiPath? Control flow is a concept borrowed from computer science that refers to the order in which actions are performed in an automation. A proper control flow can be achieved through the intelligent use of variables and activities. What is the assign activity in UiPath? The assign activity is an important activity that is going to be used quite often, as it enables you to assign a value to a variable. You can use an assign activity to increment the value of a variable in a loop, sum up the value of two or more variables and assign the result to another variable, assign values to an array and so on. By default, this activity is also included in the favorites group. To remove it, Right-click it and select Remove. What is the delay activity in UiPath? The delay activity enables you to pause the automation for a custom period of time, in the HHMSS format. This activity proves itself quite useful in projects that require good timing, such as waiting for a specific application to start or waiting for some information to be processed so that you can use it in another activity. What is the do-while activity in UiPath? The do-while activity enables you to execute a specified part of your automation while a condition is met. When the specified condition is no longer met, the project exits the loop. This type of activity can be useful to step through all the elements of an array or execute a particular activity multiple times. You can increment counters to browse through array indices or step through a list of items. What is the if activity in UiPath? The if activity contains a statement and two conditions. The first condition is executed if the statement is true, while the second one, the activity in the else section, is executed if the statement is false. 
if activities can be useful to make decisions based on the value of variables.